Okay, hi everybody, Fran Brown here. I'm going to be demonstrating uh, one of my favourite exercises today, and uh, that's called the plank. Um, don't worry if you've never done this before. Every um, video clip I'm doing, I'll take you through from beginner to advanced. The great thing about the plank, again, is you need no equipment. You can do it at home. Um, it works your whole body. Total body exercise strengthens your core, um, strengthens your shoulders, great for posture, burns more calories. This type of exercise when you're using um, your own body weight. Um, okay, so I'm going to take you through different levels. Always make sure, first of all, that you've warmed up first. Um, some shoulder rolls rolling up and down. That will be covered in a, um, another uh, video anyway. Um, so if we can start... Um, feet hip distance apart, breathing in, breathing out, up onto the toes, rolling down one vertebra at a time. And then we're going to come down onto our mat. It's a good idea if you have got a mat, actually. And then we're going to go into what we call um, our downward dog stretch from here. Shoulder blades back and down. We don't want to be rounded shoulders. And then breathe in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in. Remember, this is your Pilates breathing, your Pilates engaging the core, again, which I will be going over in your basics. Now, we we'll gradually bring the weight forwards so the head is a little bit further forwards than our fingers. And this is your plank position. I prefer to have to use this position for plank rather than lower the hips um, down there because it's not comfortable on your back. So, downward dog stretch, breathe in, breathe out, draw the abdominals in, bring the weight forwards into your plank position. Okay, so my preference with plank, actually I think it's, it works better if you actually move, don't hold your plank for 10 minutes. Um, we actually move the body, it works the muscles a little bit better, a little bit more effectively. Um, so I'm gonna give you some ideas for your plank. Now, if um, you've never done plank before, what I would suggest is literally just go from downward dog into your plank, Keep the abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down, breathe in, breathing out, and then just walking back, moving backwards and forwards, gradually building up. Um, some people do find it uncomfortable on the wrists. There's two things you can do. Um, if you have a mat, you can roll up your mat a little bit at the front. Okay, and we can put the hands on here, and that lessens the angle there. Okay, so it should be a little bit less pressure um, on the wrists, or um, you can always invest in a pair of these, they're called push-up stands, and again, you, when, when you're holding these, um, there's actually no curve there in, in the wrist, so the, the, the wrist is, is straight. Again, this is your other option. Um, a lot of my clients do find it's more comfortable. Okay, so bearing in mind, this is your beginner. Downward dog, breathing in, breathing out, coming forwards into your plank position. Forwards and back. Okay, now if you can hold the plank a little bit longer, what we're going to do, we're going to add in some variations. So I want you to bring your right knee, you should bring your right knee underneath you, and then back again. Keeping those abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down. Now, Try not to do this, bring the, the body backwards and forwards each time. Keep that position, and then we're going to take the knees underneath one at a time. And you can speed this up a little bit. You can take the knee a little bit further underneath you. Okay, this adds obviously more oblique. You're working the muscles on the sides of the waist. And then for those um, who want an extra challenge, what we can do with this as we come across, we can just add in a mini push-up. Okay, so lots of different ideas here. Also, varying the position, you can drop the forearms down onto the mat, pushing up again, down and up. Again, quite challenging. Again, you might be a little bit out of breath. Changing the position, so moving the feet round and back again, trying to keep those three points of connection in the spine, which I go through on another DVD. Okay, or you can bend your knees, yeah, and walk the hands up. And back again. Into your plank position. Okay, so lots of different ideas there. 
Um, let me know what you think. Obviously, it's important to build up your, your upper body strength gradually. Um, any questions, just drop me a, a little comment in the box. Um, if you like what I've been doing, please share it. And of course, if there's any other um, things you'd like me to go over, let me know. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.